Welcome to Desmond's Donders. Let's head off on a donder. Welcome. Welcome to another Desmond's Not Donda. Although this could be actually classified as a Donda because we went for a walk around part of the village known as the Quarters and uh, it'll show you how close we live to some beautiful countryside and beautiful walks. We'll uh, take you around other parts of the village in future videos no doubt but this is the, uh, if you like, the part of the village that we live in. Um, hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy seeing four of us. And uh, have a go at uh, saying that on the telephone and explaining to somebody where you live. Anyway, enjoy the video. Fochabus is a village in Moray, Scotland. It is 10 miles east of Elgin and located on the east bank of the River Spey. Approximately 1700 people live in the village, which enjoys a rich and musical cultural history. The village owes its existence to Alexander Gordon, 4th Duke of Gordon. During the late 18th century, during the Scottish Enlightenment, it was fashionable for landowners to found new towns and villages. These can be recognised all over Scotland because unlike their predecessors, they all have straight wide streets in mainly rectangular layouts, a central square and houses built with their main elevations parallel to the street. Fochabers was founded in 1776 and is one of the best examples of a planned village. It is a conservation area with most of the buildings in the high street listed as being of historical or architectural interest. A commemorative garden for famous Fockerbarians is situated at the entrance to Fockerbus Cricket Park and it was opened in May 2002. Two magnificent standing stones from the quarry at Clashat, Hopeman, dominate the garden, framing the beautiful backdrop of the River Spey and the Dipple Pool beyond. The garden is dedicated to famous Fockerbarians, people with their roots or with strong connections to the Fockerbus area who have gone out into the world and made a significant contribution to their fellow man in their chosen field. A lockdown walk in our home village of Fochabers. Well, let's take a walk and see where it takes us. There's not many folk about and the birds are taking advantage.
Fokker was burned. It runs down the back of the high school. And on, we'll see some of it later. And runs down here. And under the bridge I'm standing on to film this. And then the opposite direction. That's the river spray. And the Fokker is burned. Runs down from the bridge. And into the river. Part of the Fokkabas Memorial Garden. The River Spey. Not far from the mouth. In fact, Fokkabas could be called the lowest bridging point. Although there is a footbridge which used to be a rail bridge nearer the mouth of the river. And the daffodils are out. In the background through the trees, Fokkabas Cricket Club, we're still in the memorial garden. And these standing stones aren't that ancient. We're looking back at the river spade. The stones have lists of famous Fokkabarians, but the light is such that uh, today it's not going to see us getting a picture of them. The entrance to Gordon Castle and the Fokkabas War Memorial. Memorial opposite the gate, overlooking the cricket ground. Fokkabas War Memorial is set within the grass entrance to Gordon Castle. At the western gateway to the village, the war memorial is a Corinthian sandstone column in the square die and three steps circular base in polished and tooled ashlar. It is surmounted by the representation of a celestial flame. Bronze plaques affixed to the plinth are inscribed with the names of fallen World War I and World War II. Designed by A. Marshall Mackenzie from Aberdeen, and unveiled in 1922. Walkers High Street. Mm, something must be up. Police and fire brigade are out. Let's wait till they come past.
electricity in Phocabus. The remains of a canal built in 1904 to supply water to drive a turbine for electricity. It was built of concrete. The structure is approximately 4 metres wide and 2 metres deep. The sides are backed by an earthen bank approximately 2 metres wide. The intake was built at the curve of the river and is slightly wider than the rest of the canal. A rubble arm juts out into the river to help divert the river into the mouth of the canal and it would appear that a wooden sluice may have existed just within the iron grill protecting the mouth. The best preserved area is at the north end where it is part of the sunken garden of a house. The powerhouse at the northern end is also now converted to a home. We're back at Fockover's Burn. We're finishing off our walk, heading back towards the house over that footbridge. And we'll uh, finish the walk by telling you a little bit of information. We've walked about a quarter of the way, a quarter of the available footpaths, and ironically, the name of the place we've just walked around is the Quarters. Thanks for watching this and join us next week for more lockdown fill-ins and hopefully soon we'll be showing you Donders. Bye for now. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donders. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, 
waffle and leave as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.